So the Nissan Leaf hit the uh, market. Thanks for taking time today, Jose. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, so take us through this. So there are a lot of electric cars in the market, to be fair. When designing the new Leaf, how do you get it to stand out in this market right now? Well, uh, you know, we are the market leaders uh, on the EV. So we launched the first Leaf uh, more than seven years ago, and we've sold more than 280,000 uh, of those. And we've listened to our customers, and we've understood what they really wanted. And this is what we came up uh, with. So uh, first, a new and a sleek design, uh, which uh, brings the appealing of this vehicle to a broader audience. Mm -hmm. Number two, we brought uh, the greatest and latest technology to the vehicle, uh, what we call the Nissan Intelligent Mobility the uh, intelligent driving, intelligent power, and the intelligent integration. Intelligent driving uh, by the introduction of a longer range battery, about 40%, uh, also the introduction of the ProPilot Assist, uh, which is an autonomous driving one technology which allows you uh, autonomous driving in a highway. Uh, and then uh, we bring in also all the safety technologies uh, which come uh, together like the uh, autonomous emerging, emergency braking. We are also bringing uh, the blind spot warning mm -hmm. and some others. Uh, the second uh, key area is the intelligent power. Not only we bring the battery, but also we bring in a higher output uh, motor, 110 kilowatts, uh, compared to the current uh, 80, which brings you a greater acceleration uh, and better dynamic performance. And then last but not least, we bring you uh, the intelligent integration with the so-called Nissan Connect, but also the Apple CarPlay and the Android uh, Auto. Now, all these together uh, add a lower price than the current uh, uh, model on sale, Model G17, meaning under $30,000. So we believe that this is a very, very uh, good value proposition for a customer in the U.S. today. I have to ask, how did you get the car down to that price? I mean, we see so many electric cars on the market right now. They cost two, three times more than that. I mean, what did you do here to get, get it down to that so it's available to the mass markets? Well, uh, <clears throat> the, the fact that we are pioneers, that we started selling this technology earlier than anybody else, we've driven the vehicles more than two billion uh, miles, uh, gives us the benefit of uh, the, the volume, not only within the Nissan brand, but also within the Alliance, our Alliance uh, partner, uh, Renault. This is what allows us to bring all the technologies, uh, get a better car uh, at a more affordable price. Some of the, the reviews or the early takes I saw on social media, the LEAF only goes 150 miles on a full charge. How do you address some of those concerns for, for people who may say it just doesn't go long enough? Well, <clears throat> the current proposal, based on the input that we receive from uh, the consumers, uh, we believe is the very best uh, at this time. The consumers are looking for a, a longer range from the one that we have today. Mm -hmm. They want uh, all the technology features, but they don't want to pay more for it. So this is what we're bringing now. At a later stage, uh, in the future, we may bring uh, also a longer range uh, in the market. But this is where we believe the bulk of the market, the bulk of the growth is going to come. Just for your information today, uh, the U.S. market, uh, as you probably know, is stagnating. Uh, but if we look at the uh, battery EV market, it's booming. So it's still growing this year uh, to date by about 50%. So, and the reason why this is happening is because uh, we bring in a more affordable uh, technology to people that are not anymore only environmentally conscious people, but they are just pragmatic people that want to take advantage of a technology that allows them not to buy uh, gas uh, at all. So, for example, we're offering in 54 markets uh, across the United States uh, the so-called no charge to charge for two years. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay nothing at all in terms of running costs of your vehicle. That's pretty, that's pretty good. What is the infrastructure challenge in the U.S.? What is Nissan doing to get more chargers out there? We were just talking in the newsroom before I came on. Not many people see charging stations for well, electric cars. What, what are you doing to address that? Well, the infrastructure uh, has improved dramatically in the United States. Uh, just in the last four years, the number of uh, charging stations across the nation has increased by more than 250%. Uh, 
uh, there are more than uh, 1,900 uh, fast charging stations and more than uh, 38,000 uh, what we call level two charging stations. So uh, the increase in the range and also the increase in the charging infrastructures uh, is removing completely the range anxiety that some consumers had at the beginning of this technology. It's fair. Is it fair? Is it a fair comparison to compare the new Leaf to the to, to the Tesla Model Three? I'm sure you're going to get those questions a lot. Is it a direct competitor? Well, we believe we are bringing to the market uh, the right solution based on the customer input. We are a worldwide leaders uh, of uh, the EV sales. Uh, we've sold more than 280,000 uh, Leafs. And then uh, we've listened to our customers, and they wanted a better technology, a more affordable a vehicle, and we put it all together with this offer. The fact that we're able to, to bring a, this vehicle at a lower than $30,000 price, I think is going to bring a, the sales of this vehicle to probably double or even more worldwide and we're expecting a sim similar uh, evolution in the US market. So we believe this is the right solution today. Of course, we'll be ready in the future to bring some maybe a longer range, etc. Well, good luck with the, with the LEAF and thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for having me.